All right, man, so I don't know why, but lately I've been having a bad case of like procrastinosis. Like seriously, man, I'll have like the most amazing idea and then be like, shoot, I gotta make a video, but I gotta bring the sauce about this. And then I'll get caught up doing something. And then for some reason, my brain will just think like, I gotta bring, I, I got the idea. I gotta bring the sauce tomorrow. That is what's known as procrastinosis. Hey, look, man, I'm gonna I'm be honest. I, I really ain't got no excuse. I was legit just talking to a creator friend of mine, Harsh Money, about this, and he said the exact same thing. But he was just like a straight gangster about it. Cause he literally just pulled up in the text messages and was like, yo, Scott Money, what you doing over there, man? You lacking the sauce. What, what's going on? Where are these videos at? And I'm over here like, yo, 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 chill, 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 Pam, chill. The video's coming tomorrow. Oh, just missed the train shot. Dang. <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Quick side note. Check out the kicks, Pippin. Y'all like them? Man, it's been a long time coming. I legit got them for like 30 euros. I saw another pair for like 25 euros. I might go get like soon. Oh, yeah, after my creator friend went all ninja boss on me, it actually gave me the idea for this video because I've been thinking about it. And there are some great ways to overcome procrastinosis. <laughs> And now I ain't never told nobody because you already know I'm a boss. But I realized one of the biggest reasons I procrastinate as well as like a lot of people because when I'm about to make a video, sometimes I, I just don't know how to start. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I love motorcycles. I used to have a Honda CBR 1000 double R. Bows. But yeah, a lot of people get hung up on actually starting. And I completely understand. Like sometimes I'll have this whole like idea planned out, scripted, everything. But the moment I go to grab the camera, I just overthink. And like I will legit overthink it so much to the point where again, I don't know where to start. And at the end of the day, what actually helps me with this is actually just picking up the camera and then actually going out, like completing the first step. Not just grabbing the camera, but grabbing the camera and taking it out to film. And for some reason, this legit works, like real talk. Because the moment I just take the camera out, I got so much to say. And now I'm not gonna lie though, this thing is boss. Like I ain't even gonna front. I'm, we're probably gonna get one. Because taking one kid to school and then bringing the other one, like it's, it, it's a lot, man. So I'd say my tip to you guys on just like getting it going, especially if you're having a hard time starting, is take it baby step by baby step. Again, for me, that was actually grabbing the camera, taking it downstairs, going outside, just getting it over with. Like get out and start filming. Cause as soon as I start moving, like pimping that, that ninja blood just start flowing. And next you know, I'm making boss videos, dropping bars. Everybody can get it up in here. Ooh, man, that was close. I thought he almost ran over the gear. <laughs> All right, now, before we continue on, you know we gotta give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor. Chris Butler, thank you so much for the coffee. You are Ninja Boss. A more huge shout out to you as well. Thank you so much for the coffee. I can definitely tell that you got Ninja Blood all up on deck. And then lastly, a huge shout out to someone who didn't leave a name. I'ma just call them Money Moves. Thank you so much for the coffee. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy, pimping. The link is down below. And if not, no tea, no shade. And yes, I was just hugging the block on this digger right here. Cause I'm a thug. <laughs> Yo, yeah, man. And the next thing I noticed is that if I start my day off like kind of sluggish, meaning like if I'm not prepared, kind of like rushing out the door to get mini sky money out to school, didn't plan anything to eat, don't know what I'm wearing that morning. Overall, the day as a whole is a lot harder to get through. Versus when I have everything planned out from what clothes I wear to like my son's clothes, just having it all laid out the entire day is much more easy like it's just easy and it's smooth smoother than butt on your butt cheek smooth dang turned up on the boat look at these look at these guys look at these guys turned up. <laughs> so with all that said though i realized that you have to take control of the day because i realize if you don't take control over your day somebody else will like they'll take over they'll take it over in a heartbeat look i'm just being real like 
they will like people will suck your day dry if you don't take control of it and taking control of your day starts the night before like i said have your clothes ready for the morning have some sort of idea of what you're eating that night and look for the thugs out there like if you feeling dangerous try your best to have a list of things that you need to get done the night before so that you can tackle them first thing in the morning and now that's only if you feeling dangerous if you're not that, that's cool that's cool like y'all already know we ain't haters up in here i could have never let us be haters just do what you got to do to take control of your day and pimpin i promise like i promise it will make the whole procrastination problem a lot easier The next tip I have to help you guys avoid procrastinosis is to actually reward yourself. And more specifically, I mean reward yourself for the small wins. And I'm not saying that I be popping bottles every time I pick up a camera. But what I am saying is I do reward myself when I finish and edit. And I don't know, it's just something about just giving yourself something as a way of... Because it helps put in perspective that you are moving that needle. Like even if it's just a little bit, the needle is definitely moving. It also helps with motivation. Like it helps, it just adds that extra sauce on the motivation. Man, hey, everybody up in my grill today. Hey. The next thing I noticed that helped me like procrastinate like even more is multitasking. Like I'll just be out chilling, editing a video. Then I'll be trying to listen to music sometimes. Then also I'll be trying to answer some emails, comments. It just gets so bad to the point where something that could take me about 20 minutes to edit takes me like 50. That's pretty bad. Like if no one has ever told you this, like just listen to your voice guy. Y'all already know I'm the voice of the people. Multitasking doesn't work. And I feel like it's just a huge contributor when it comes to procrastinosis. So try your best to stay away from multitasking. Multitasking does not work. It slows you down. And I also noticed that the quality of everything that you're trying to do takes a big hit too when you're trying to like do all of them at once. Multitasking does not work. I don't care what, I don't care what nobody. And I even actually read like a Forbes article on it. Like, was it Forbes? Multitasking is basically being like bad at multiple things. And my ninjas, that's 1000% true. Try your best to focus on one thing at a time. And if you're gonna be bad at something, just be good at being bad at it. Like, you know, you, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Oh man. <laughs> and now this last tip, this last tip, it goes for all like the hustler, like the ninja bosses of the world. Cause y'all already know your boy Sky Money is a hustler. So for all the hustlers, I would have to say, don't focus on being productive. Try to focus on rest. And this one is huge, especially for somebody like me. I am a certified CEO hustler. And so sometimes it gets hard for me to realize when I need rest. And a lot of the times I don't even realize it until like I am extremely tired. When doing all of this, you just have to learn how to take a step back and reset. Like I know that you need to be out here hugging the block and bringing the sauce, but at the same time, you have to kind of manage your energy, which is like super important, not only for your mental health, but for also just bringing the sauce. I notice when I'm like dead tired because I've been staying up late a lot, trying to make edits like perfect, trying to make a decent thumbnail, my sauce gets compromised. Like I'm gonna be honest, this plays a huge role in my procrastinosis. And I'm sure it's the same for you. I mean, because think about it, out of all the things that you have on your list of things, to do that day. If you are just extremely tired, what's gonna go first? What am I gonna make an excuse for not doing? Going to work, because it pays the bills right now, or editing a video. Most likely, you're gonna make an excuse for not making the video. In your mind, you're just thinking like, I I'll do it tomorrow. And what sucks is that when you say something like that, when you say, I'll do it tomorrow, that day is gone and you can't get it back. So just remember, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Manage your energy well. said something like this in the past, but I remember saying, learn how to rest and not to quit. And the first step is to basically manage your energy. Like you don't want to burn out to the point where you quit. I mean, cause y'all already know we thugs, we bosses. We trying to take it to the next level. Cause it's morphin' time up in this piece. But anyway, Pimpin', those are just my thoughts. What are yours? What, do you have any ideas on better ways to avoid procrastinosis. If so, light them comments up and also just, just light them up because we need it. <laughs> Huge shout out to everybody who bought me a coffee. You guys 
are some ninja bosses. I'm going to pick up one now, even though I needed it yesterday. In the meantime, though, pimpin', go ahead and watch one of these videos up here, and I will see you in the next one. Man, I freaking love this street.